So I want to address a quick fact about your blood pressure and why it's increasing, what's causing it to increase, and how you can help reduce that. Breaking this down into a short series so you can digest it a little at a time, but let's start off with this first fact. Your blood vessels are made up of several layers, and the innermost layer is called the endothelium. So once again, let's start with insulin resistance. Remember, insulin resistance is when you have too much insulin in your system for too long and your cells become resistant to it, meaning there's just way too much insulin in your body. Insulin is a really great hormone to have. It's what distributes our food as fuel and helps us grow new tissue. And that's important to remember because insulin wants things to grow. But how does this relate to the endothelium? Insulin, in its quest to make things grow, signals that endothelium to thicken up and grow and grow and creates less space on the interior wall of your blood vessels. And this is happening again when you have so much insulin coursing through your veins that it's overacting. And as that endothelium grows, it means that the interior of your blood vessel is narrowing. Think about what would happen if you tried to take the volume of a fire hose and tried to force it through the size of a garden hose. That would just be way too much volume and the garden hose couldn't handle it. And this is in effect what's happening when all that excess insulin is cueing the growth of those endothelial cells, creating a smaller space in your blood vessels and creating so much pressure that your heart rate goes up. The good news is get the insulin levels down, the endothelial cells can start to normalize and open up the blood vessels for more normal blood flow. And that means improving your heart rate and your heart health.